Hey everybody, I'm Bobby Dean and I'm coming to you today with another just great recipe. Um, it's a casserole, it's a sweet casserole, and um, I think that you're really gonna like it. These are all um, pretty straightforward, easy recipes. And uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I used to be, when we first started out, when we first, first started out, I was the pot scrubber dishwasher. Then I graduated. Um, up into the uh, dessert maker. I baked all of our desserts. So I made all of our peach cobblers. I made all of our gooey butter cakes, everything for, uh, for quite a long time. So today I'm gonna share with you a, um, a peach and pineapple uh, casserole that I think that you're really gonna like. It's very easy. And we're gonna start with uh, brown sugar, flour, shredded cheddar cheese, okay? And we're gonna combine those three ingredients into a bowl with a rubber batch. Then we'll just get our sugar flour mixture kind of married there. And that brown sugar might have some lumps in it that need to be broken up. My guaranteed, always. And you could use a uh, like a butter cutter here or a fork or whatever you, you need to, to to get those chunks out of the brown sugar, but you do want to break it up. So you don't want a big chunky brown sugar in there. And this is how um, this is how lots of uh, cobbler desserts begin, you know. And it's a two-part thing. We'll make uh, half of it and add it to our casserole um, dish, and then we'll make the other half and add that and bake it off. You know, food is just we talk about it quite a lot, but uh, food has just got the ability to to bring you back in time. It really is a time machine. Uh, certain smells and tastes and, you know, just put you in a certain time and place with your family around that table. And these kinds of dishes uh, really have that effect on me. Anytime my mom makes a peach cobbler or a blackberry cobbler or something like that, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I remember being in Albany when I was, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12 years old, and mom making these casseroles, or Aunt Peggy coming over, and Uncle George being there, and just, you know, food will transport you. And I love that about food. Okay, so I've mixed in our um, shredded cheddar, pineapple, peach, and shredded cheddar go together very well. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, cheese, um, pears, mayonnaise, that makes a really nice combination too. Um, I remember my mom making some hors d'oeuvre, or really desserty, but like pear halves with mayonnaise and cheese. Oh boy. I don't know if that's very um, Southern or not, but it was in our household, right next to the sweet tea. <laughs> All right, so to that, I'm gonna add a can of peaches with the juice and also pineapple chunks. Come on, come on, every last one of you. And we'll fold these all together, like so. And try not to tear everything up. I'm using a rubber spatula, as you often will whenever you're making things like this. And fold it together, you know, you just don't wanna tear up your that fruit into tiny little shreds or chunks. So we've got everything here pretty well combined. That's our flour, our brown sugar, our shredded cheddar cheese, our peaches, and our pineapple. We're off to a great start. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this to our casserole dish, which I've sprayed lightly, just to make sure that we don't have anything sticking. Right into the dish. And then we'll just spread it out so everything's even. I'm gonna bring this over here to you. We'll sort of spread it out so everything's even and I waste not, want not, mom always said, and in the restaurant business, you don't let anything go to waste. My mom used to, oh boy, you could feel those eyes looking over your shoulder when you were cutting a tomato or especially something like a bell pepper, you know, where you got the, uh, the stem on the top, <laughs> buddy. You better get as close to that stem as you can and make sure that there's no green or red left on that pepper. 
you throw something in the trash, my mama is gonna go look in that trash can and see exactly what you threw away. All right, now some of these um, peach halves are really big, so I'm just gonna sort of cut them with my spatch and spread them out a little bit. Yeah, so they're not too big. You wanna be able to take, you know, bites of it. There we go. That looks nice. Make sure it's married in with that pineapple. And look, this already looks really good, doesn't it? So what's this recipe missing, you might ask? And I'm glad that you asked. Because this recipe is missing butter. <laughs> okay. Our reserved pineapple juice. It's going to be sweet and delicious. And also our breadcrumbs. This would be just really crumbled up crackers, you know? There's a certain buttery cracker out there that most people like to use that we're all familiar with. And just put it into a one of those zipper bags, one of those plastic bags, your crackers, just put them in there and just pound them with your you know, hand or a little mallet and get them broken up. Okay. So the first part of our dish, the brown sugar, the flour, the peaches, the pineapples, the shredded cheddar cheese. We're gonna add in the second part of our dish, which is the butter, the reserved pineapple juice and our crackers and just pour that right over the top. Now this is gonna this is gonna be that beautiful brown topping on our casserole. And you might think that this recipe looks super extra fantastic and there's a reason for that because this recipe comes from the book, Y'all Come Eat by the Dean Brothers, of which I am one. So, into the oven for about 30 minutes. So, we'll see you back. Our peach and pineapple casserole has come out of the oven. It's piping hot and it smells so wonderful. It's ready to serve and the only thing missing maybe a little bit of uh, ice cream. But you don't have to have ice cream. The cobbler alone is gonna be super satisfying. Gosh, oh. Piping hot. Might be too hot to taste. Let's see. Let's see if they can see the smoke. Beautiful. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. So rich and buttery and wonderful. It's great as is, beyond great as is. A little ice cream would take it over the top. This is a beautiful pineapple peach casserole. You, your family, and friends are going to love it. So enjoy. See you next time. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.